Well guys, there are a lot of videos out there about folding bikes. Not too many of them deal with the one big problems they have. These folding pedals they come stock with. So let me show you why you need to replace them and replace them fast. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's compare. This is a cheap alloy uh, flat pedal I got, you know, on the internet for like 15 bucks. This, and this is the folding pedal the bike Dehan came with. Let me just move the camera so you can see better. Okay, see how much more space you have for your foot on on the alloy pedal than on the and on this folding pedal. Now grip wise that's a whole different world. You've got these studs over here that really grip your shoes and prevent you from slipping while on this. Look it's all rubber. Very soft and very very slippery so you also you don't get enough room for your foot and and it's kind of slippery. This thing's got best of both worlds more surface area to grip your foot and a better grip system these studs here but BB dude I need this folding pedal so I can fold my bike nicely oh man gotta have that extra room well do you let's take a look well, here's the bike all folded and here's the left side pedal as you can see it tucks in and it doesn't protrude on you know on the fork side it's just tucked in there you can even put it down here which is a probably a better location now let's look at the other side on the other side you do have the full width of this pedal but let's compare it to the folding pedal width so comparing it to the folding pedal this is what you are losing here couple of inches maybe two or three I don't think there's three inches from here there's maybe two so two inches of width now you can solve this very easily this is a 15 millimeter open wrench and you should always have one with you on the bike because it does everything not only does it open and closes the pedals but it also opens the bolts and nuts here for you know for uh, a flat repair on the tire so both sides both wheels use 15 millimeter open wrenches now remember one thing all pedals have an indication right or left this folding pedal says right here R for right once you have the right left orientation all set up remember that's the rule always to remember tightening the pedals always going forward releasing them always going backwards don't mess around with that reverse threads trying to understand tightening is front releasing to the back so I hold the pedal in one hand and I give it a small nudge here and that's it it's ready to come out it'll take you about once you get used to it something like 10 15 seconds to get the pedal off now look what happened not only did you gain do not lose but you gained a couple of inches in space see this is gone took you 15 seconds and you have more room with the flat pedals if you only take up one of them <laughs> now remember installing them is going forward with the threads you always start with your fingers run that a bit until it kind of catches on and when you are not able to tighten it anymore with your fingers then only move to the wrench and finish this thing off with the wrench okay a few turns until you feel it tight then give it one extra nudge and that's good enough. At home I keep my Dehan Mariner tucked next to the couch and that non-folding pedal gives it support. So for 20 or 30 bucks you can get an absolutely 
wonderful flat wide alloy or nylon pedal you don't need you don't need that folding pedal it doesn't do you any good it's there's no grip on the shoe and it slips just try it out put out a standard pedal that you may have lying around and try the difference in the power drive that you will get when you ride the bike especially uphill is just unbelievable it's like you just gained 15 20 25 percent more power on the same bike you owned try it out and let me know in the comments below if that helped you out thanks a lot thanks for watching till next time bye Thank you.